Hey guys, it's me. Oh. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Desiree Marie, and I'm back here today to do another video. Now, normally I talk about my hair, I talk my life, I give you guys vlogs and day to day um, cool videos about my life, but today I want to talk about my teeth. As some of you guys know, I did have braces. Um, I still do have braces on the bottom row, but um, I talked a lot about my braces in the beginning stages of my um, journey and if you guys saw the vlog I got my braces taken off the top row so since then I haven't really talked about my um, after braces journey situation I didn't talk about my experience um, so today I just want to get raw and real about the things that I dealt with um, during the, the during the um, orthodontic surgery and even afterward some things that um, I never was told I never knew that I would have to deal with and um, yeah some quirks along the way so hopefully this inspires and helps a lot of you guys out there that have braces right now and you're looking Looking forward to that day where you can finally get it taken off um, but you're trying to figure out what you should expect here's a video about what I am dealing with what I dealt with um, I'm not saying that that's going to be your story but hey if you can get some knowledge from someone else who had braces you know the same way that you do knowledge is power right <laughs> so I do have a long list of things um, that I did not expect post braces post having braces right so i'm going to kind of divide this up um between two uh categories during the operation and after um the operation okay so during the operation the most weirdest thing happened right so i was on the table um the orthodontist took off the braces off the top he like clipped it clipped it clipped it clipped it and then rose it up as soon as he rose it up off my teeth I smelled this horrible stench that I've never smelled before and I was actually very embarrassed that that was coming out of my mouth now I later learned that it is very normal that your um, that when your braces are removed that a smell comes um, is released because no matter how good you keep your teeth clean, you know you, you keep on top of your oral your oral uh, um, health and and stuff like that. You keep your mouth clean. No matter what, you still have things that are trapped underneath the metal um, until it is taken off of your teeth. Then you can really get into um, you know what was underneath. But when it gets taken off, you're gonna have the smell that is is very i mean for me i was like so disgusted i didn't realize that it, my mouth would smell like that and so i asked the guy and he said well that's normal because you you know you keep your teeth clean but you had things that were trapped you know bacteria that's trapped underneath the metal that you can't get to no matter how well you brush your teeth so that's something that i experienced i was very um embarrassed like i keep saying i was very embarrassed but that you know faded out um you know it was taken off he told me to uh brush afterwards and so the stench was taken you know completely wiped out you know it was good it was all good but um that's something that i didn't uh expect that did happen um also during the operation i did not I was actually expecting more discomfort. I heard stories like, you know, when you get your braces taken off and they, you know, the, the orthodontist is shaving off your teeth, from, well, shaving the glue from off your teeth, like it really hurts and it feels like, you know, you're biting into ice or something. Like these horror stories, I've, I've, I've seen it all over YouTube, I've read it, and I was bracing myself for that same experience because I have sensitive teeth so I was bracing myself for that especially for my front teeth I cannot I cannot 
so I was bracing myself the whole time and it was actually very painless so guys you know people that mean well will talk to you about how braces hurt and and how it how, you know how things went wrong for them but it may not be your same experience like I said previously in the beginning of this video my experience might not even be your experience you know so don't take everyone's experience and think that it's going to be yours just kind of you know <laughs> take it as it is but um yeah i didn't experience discomfort like i thought i would another okay so now that we're done with during the operation i'm going to talk about after which is where i am right now after i got the top braces taken off life after braces right um yeah i felt like my teeth were not mine like he took the braces off and i automatically my tongue automatically like you know looked over my teeth to like you know like I was just so fascinated with my teeth all of a sudden and it did not feel like mine and I would look in the mirror and I would think wow my teeth look big like they I, I never see my teeth like this because if you guys know before I got braces my I had an overcrowding situation so I never saw my teeth the way that they are now they were always kind of like you know jumbled and stuff like that now that they're straight I'm like wow these don't look like mine these look fake these look like I'm wearing veneers and they they look huge they like, look like big you know buck teeth <laughs> but um I soon got over that you know as you start to see yourself every day and you look at yourself in the mirror you look at your teeth you get more familiar with seeing yourself this way with straight teeth um it starts to become more normal for you but in the beginning you're like wow this does not look like me <laughs> you may just feel like your teeth look so big and bulky and ugly no it's just you transitioning into life without braces and getting used to seeing yourself without the metal and stuff on your teeth all right so um Yes, it is so much easier to floss your teeth. Obviously, guys, you guys already know, but it's so much easier to floss your teeth. As you know, when you have braces, you have to go, uh, like, you have to have a method, right? You have to have a system. You have to take the floss and, like, go into the metal and do that with each and every tooth into the metal you can't just go sh 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 sh. no you have to like take your time and previously it would take me like maybe a whole 10 minutes extra just for me to floss my teeth with braces now on the top portion it doesn't take me long at all i just take one piece of floss and like sh 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 sh. <laughs> and bam wham bam that's it but of course i still have the bottom to address and that's the the part that takes the longest but when you don't have braces it is so much easier to floss you're in you're out it's easy um so it makes me really appreciate um not having braces on the top and my straight teeth because straight teeth help you to maintain you know your teeth a whole lot easier when my teeth were jumbled and like i had overcrowding and my you know uh you call these fangs <laughs> all right um teeth were just all over the place and it was really hard for me to floss and feel comfortable flossing now it's easy very easy um all right so okay so here's the big thing right i did not expect to not have perfectly straight teeth like i thought i would guys you already know you know when you have braces you're constantly looking at different videos and you know everyone with straight teeth and you're admiring their teeth and you're thinking oh wow my teeth are going to look so just just like that when I get my braces taken off and that's where I was I was looking at people's teeth and really studying it and looking at my teeth and just having really high expectations however I did have an overcrowding situation in my mouth that um it it kind of it, it it guys just just listen up right so when i got the braces taken off i of course i enjoyed my teeth but the more i looked at it the more i realized wait these my teeth are not as straight as like so and so's or you know they, they they're not like the perfect shh, you know just teeth right across the gums <laughs> so um <laughs> twinkie <laughs> Twinkie, 
Guys, I have a dog and she's looking at me like, what you talking about? From her pet bed. All right, so yeah, I did not expect for my teeth to um, not be so straight. I mean, they are straight, but they're not bone straight. And that is because of my jaw, um, the way that my teeth were prior to getting braces. Um, these are all factors that kind of play into how your teeth are going to look after. So um, I just had to be grateful for how my teeth looked. And they're straight for me. Um, they're not super duper like bone straight like some people, but they're straight for me. Um, yeah so it's it's good it's perfectly fine but i do notice that it's not as straight as i had expected i had high expectations and you know you got to kind of work with your teeth work with your mouth work with the situation you got going on i also had some extractions in the back and stuff like that that kind of result to um the way that my teeth are right now which is straight but it's not bone straight like i had expected um Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, so, right? <laughs> if you don't know or notice, you probably don't, but I'm wearing my retainers right now. Guys, I do, I cannot stand these retainers. I cannot stand these retainers. You want to know why I cannot stand these retainers? Retainers, okay, so they are the, they, they are the Invisalign um, looking retainers. They're not the big metal, which I'm very grateful for. However, oh my gosh, okay, so first of all, I have to take them out every time I eat or drink anything that is not water. Okay, that's fine. But in order to put it back on, you have to wash it. You have to remember to put it back in because for me, I was told that I have to wear it 24-7 for three months. So I'm like, all right, three months, let's, let's do this. It's not that long. But oh my gosh, guys. It is a long time to try to remember to put something back in your mouth. Um, it, guys, it's just, it's, it's a bother for me. I cannot stand when food particles get inside of it. So I have to go in and like brush it and clean it. Um, I feel a little insecure when I go out with them. Like I feel like if I have them in, like people notice when I'm talking or I'm smiling, and I feel like, well, I hope that I don't, I didn't miss a spot where there was a food particle and the retainers, and maybe as I'm smiling, it looks kind of crazy. Right now, I mean, it makes my teeth look super glossy which is strange to me i've never seen my teeth look like that <laughs> it's just a lot it's a lot of things that um i'm still adjusting to as far as these retainers are concerned um i'm supposed to keep them in for a few more weeks so hopefully after um i go in to my next orthodontic visit they'll tell me i don't need to wear them anymore but they have been a little bit of a frustration. Like sometimes I'll go out, like when I know I'm going out somewhere nice or like if I'm going out on a date, I will intentionally leave my retainers home because I don't want my teeth to look weird. I don't want to feel insecure and I don't want to be like, you know, I just feel like people notice when you're wearing this thing over your teeth. I know I used to notice a good friend of mine, she wore retainers and I would notice when she had them in. Um, they just look like a big plastic thing over your teeth. So I would intentionally leave them home and not bring them home, uh, bring them out with me if I'm going out somewhere, if I'm getting cute and dressed up. I, honestly, I would leave them home. When I come back home, I'll put them back in. <laughs> but this 24 hour retainer situation is really difficult for me. I, I just, I just gotta be honest. I hate that it re like it gathers saliva. <sighs> guys <laughs> it gathers the saliva in your mouth so obviously it's going to have a smell if you don't keep on top of cleaning it which is very you know it, it's just it's just so tedious and for me I just I don't want to bother with it um it is a, it is very high maintenance um if you want to keep your mouth clean and fresh yeah so yeah I'm kind of rambling on that part now but uh Yeah, um, retainers, they also, like, I don't know if you guys ever did this, but when I was younger, I would 
take my chewing gum chew it chew it chew it and when i would get tired of chewing it what i would do is like i would put the gum over my teeth guys if you ever done that i maybe i'm the weirdest person walking this earth but that's what i used to do and um i would make like my own like i guess veneers with the chewing gum that i just chewed and um it, this is how it feels just like that like I have like a piece of gum over my teeth it still feels very unnatural to me even though I've had it in for about two months now it still feels very unnatural still feels like there's something on my mouth that I need to get out but when I don't think about it it's okay but when I do think about it it's like oh there's something in my mouth I need to I just had that quick reaction to like get something out of my mouth that's in my mouth that doesn't feel natural but um yeah, with, as with everything else, you just have to get used to it. And yeah, if it helps you, go with it. <laughs> um, but enough with the bothers and the things that I don't like um, about my retainers and so forth. I do have a greater sense of confidence when smiling, when going out. I just, I love my, my new smile. I love my top smile. <laughs> oh, I, I still like my bottom smiles too, but I love that I don't have braces on the top. I can, you know, I, I just feel so much more confident when I go out and I smile, when I put on certain types of makeup, you know, lipsticks and stuff, because lipstick has a way of kind of attracting the attention to your lips. So it's just a whole new world for me, knowing that I have straight teeth, new straight teeth, I can do so much and feel so confident. I love smiling. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm offering them a gift. Not to sound like I'm like full of myself, but I feel like I'm offering a gift when I smile to other people. I feel like I don't know, I just feel bright. I feel more free to 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 show you know, show how I feel, show happiness on the outside with the smile. Um when I had crooked teeth, it was very difficult for me to feel confident smiling to others um without kind of like covering my mouth or um, in pictures I would angle a little bit and, and smile because I would know I would notice how my teeth didn't look so crooked if I angled my face a little bit now it doesn't matter any angle I'm in I'm, I'm happy to smile <laughs> no matter what so um, I'm very happy about my new teeth yes guys my new teeth and um yes it makes me look forward to getting the bottom row taken out one thing i didn't know i didn't know that i would have to deal with um when getting the top uh braces taken off but not the bottom is that some people think that i have a grill some people like numerous times i've been asked are you wearing a grill do you have a grill and if you don't know what a grill is um it's like if you have like gold teeth on the bottom yeah i didn't i didn't realize that i would be asked are you wearing a grill um because i mean obviously it does look like i have like some kind of like uh like you know those rappers like south side I'm, I'm very corny guys but if you kind of get what I'm talking about, yeah, it looks like I'm wearing a grill. If you didn't know um, that I had braces and you saw me talking from afar, you probably would think that I was that I had some kind of like grill on the bottom, but I don't. <laughs> it's just um, to further correct the bottom row until that's taken out. But yeah, guys, I'm nonetheless I'm very happy about my um, teeth post braces on the top. Um, those are just the things that I've. Uh, been dealing with that I didn't know that I would have to deal with but if you have any experiences that you would like to share let us know down below if you have any questions for me as far as braces or post braces because I'm kind of in between like braces and post braces and you know if you have any questions any questions let me know down below and I'll be happy to address those questions in another braces video i want to push out more braces videos for you guys because i know you have some questions i've been seeing your questions and i want to answer them so yes let's talk down below but hopefully you enjoyed this video i hope to speak to you again about my braces very very soon um yeah guys so subscribe if you're not subscribed so you can see the next video coming up about the braces and questions and answers and yeah guys i'm so excited 
thank you for watching thank you for being on this journey with me i hope that you are on a uh, you're enjoying your journey as well as far as your braces or uh if you don't have braces yet or if you have them or if you don't have them wherever you are i hope that you're enjoying yourself right where you are on the way to better teeth and better you better confidence all of that good stuff all right guys i'm rambling as i always am but thank you for watching subscribe if you're not and i'll see you in the next video bye